So let's start with the defining of what covariate shift is, and we can quickly define a covariate shift as the change in the joint model input distribution. So imagine that you have multiple features uh, comprising of your uh, model inputs. And if this joint distribution changes in any significant way, uh, then we can talk about covariate shift. To give you a simple example here, imagine that we have just one feature. And if the distribution that we sample uh, from population, so we have some kind of sampling function. If that sampling function from population to our sample changes, we have covariate shift. And that means that not only the model input distribution will change, but potentially also the target distribution is going to change because we might move from a region when, let's say, there is more positive class instances to a region when there is more negative class instances. Like in the example here, we see that we have in total more negative, negative class instances compared to uh, the before the shift. Um, and that also might potentially impact the performance of the model if we move from regions when the model is supposed to perform well, because maybe it's very easy to separate classes to region when the model is not going to perform so well, maybe because it is hard to separate the classes or maybe because it did not have enough data to really learn the correct pattern. And of course, the same applies to regression problems, but it's a bit easier to uh, talk about binary problems and binary classification problems and to visualize binary classification problems. So let's stick with that. Uh, now, uh, of course, as I mentioned, we're talking about a joint probability distribution. Uh, so just to give you an example why this joint part is important, uh, there are kinds of covariate shifts when if you look at every single feature separately, you will not really see a difference. So imagine it here due to some kind of error on the data preparation or data engineering side, or maybe somewhere in your data pipelines upstream, feature one and feature two get switched sometime before between week uh, 10 and week six. And you look at those distributions. And if you look at the distribution separately, it's gonna look basically exactly the same. Uh, if you look here, um, the distribution is Gaussian and the distribution week 10 and week 16 are basically the same, uh, but almost to a rounding error and the same uh, follows here. But of course, our distribution is completely different and the model is going to make terrible mistakes because it assumes that feature one is feature two and vice versa. So this is something that we absolutely need to uh, be able to detect. And it's something that can actually uh, let us identify what is the potential root cause of the performance drop. 